Good afternoon, fellow ruminators. Welcome back to another session. Rumination with that group. Thank you so much for joining as we are about to discuss a very important topic of matter. And this afternoon, we shall be looking at the uh, high rates of murders in Jamaica. The fact of the matter is that we have been experiencing this for centuries, for, for, for decades, <laughs> not centuries, but for decades, perhaps for centuries, as during slavery, um, that was also a period of violence, right, during slavery. The British started it, in fact, and it continued unabated, it has continued unabated in Jamaica since we gained independence in 1962. I am not sure if after gaining um, emancipation in 1834, that the balance was as horrific as it is now. But we can say that after 1962, particularly the decades of the 1960s, uh, not 1960s, but the 1970s and 1980s into the 1990s and beyond, Jamaica has been witnessing an extremely high rate of homicide. And it is time now that we begin to discuss, we have a serious discussion on the way forward in terms of how we are going to put a dent into this high homicide rate that we see on the island every year. It seems to me that our citizens have become desensitized and they are not so much concerned about what is happening or perhaps they are living in fear because they do know that if they begin to become informants and they report what they see, that their lives can be snuffed out. But we need to come to some form of clarity and we need to have some pragmatic um, actions in terms of how we are going to deal with this crime matter. I just opened up the Glee and I pulled up a story that just came from the paper today, uh, dated Friday, June 14th, 2024, and it reads thus. Five people, including a father and his two sons, have been murdered in Hanover between last night and early this morning. That is very sad. The father and sons were reportedly killed in a home invasion last night in Johnson Town in that parish. Now, in another incident last night, the director of funeral home was that the director of the funeral home was reported to shot dead by gunmen. It is also reported that gunmen opened fire in the new safe car park this morning, killing one man. National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang is expected to visit the parish this morning to get an update on the crime situation. Well, that is very sad, seeing that this is in Hanover, in a very rural part of Jamaica, and we're having these gruesome murders. Something is not right, and something is wrong in the way in which our citizens, their lives are not you know, they're, they're not respected, right? And there is no respect for the sanctity of life. And that because we are not able to give rights, so we should not have that right, or we do not have that right to take it. But it's important that we look at some of the statistics about Jamaica's crime, crime, crime rate, I should say. And we have here um, from Statista, and let me see if I could share my screen with you to just give you a sense of what is happening in Jamaica in terms of the crime. As people continue to gossip, because one of the things that we see online is a lot of gossip going on there and people are talking about constitutional republic that who has dual citizenship and who does not. And we have other serious matters to contend with that we are not actually contending with, if the truth be told. Now, here we have statistics. It says number of murders in Jamaica from 2011 to 2023. And in 2011, we can see that we had 1,133 murders reported. Uh, in 2020 and 2012, rather, we had 1,002. In 2013, 1,222. And then in 2014, 1,005. That wasn't a bad year. In 2015, 1,208. And this goes on, and then we have it going up um, to, to sixteen forty seven, right? In that was two thousand seventeen, right? That is was a very high murder rate we had there. And in two thousand eighteen, it went down to twelve eighty seven, and it has been fluctuating ever since. And last year we had a murder rate of one thousand nine hundred 
three, right? That would that, that those were the numbers that were given by Jamaica. Right? Now this is interesting because what we have here is an on average over a thousand murders per annum in Jamaica of the population of roughly three million people. Now that is something that needs to be totally uh, analyzed because this is serious and it is something that we should not deceive on that in such a small island that bragged itself as being an island that where there's no problem on, right? We say that we, you know, we don't have any problems and that we, you know, every little thing is going to be all right. It's an island of Bob Marley where every little thing, once you just sing your song, right? Um, every little thing is going to be all right. But are things all right on that island? Something is wrong with this picture that we're seeing here, right? Something is definitely wrong. Something we have to look at because we can't continue like this. Our murder rates are on the rise, right? And we've got to do something about it. Our murder rate should be below 500 per annum, right? For a population of our size, we should not have over 500 murders per annum. And our citizens, as I'm suggesting, not to mention our leaders, they are unconcerned about what is happening. They're more concerned about who's sleeping at home, right? And who doesn't have the citizenship and those who might have had. Nobody is willing to speak about these very pressing issues. Now, if the murder rates continue as they are, what sort of free Jamaica, what sort of free, sovereign, independent Jamaica are we seeking to forge and to build, to construct? I am not sure. Because if you're happy, if you're just snuffing out the lives of so many people. And right now, the murderers, they, they, they are the people who actually um, kill, who murder, right? The criminals are not concerned about the age, right? Or the sex or whatever, right? They're just concerned about killing. So if they have to kill a baby, they will. Right, and this is what is happening. There are some gruesome murders happening in Jamaica. As we're seeing here, the father and his sons were killed. Right now, Jamaica spike. This is coming from Fox. That is a Jamaica spike in murders triggers travel warning to Americans visiting the Island Nation, and that was written in on January thirtieth, two thousand twenty-four. So we've been seeing lots of travel advisories from the United States about being careful about visiting Jamaica. And yet still we say that our island depends on the tourism industry. Now, if our government was so interested um, in tourism and in the fact that tourism can build or economy, wouldn't they also be interested in trying to put a huge dent in the criminal wave that you see there? and to ensure that our citizens, but you know, what is happening is that the government, when they speak, oftentimes they talk about the fact that it is not so much the citizens that they're concerned about, they're more concerned about the saving the lives of the tourists. If the lives of Jamaicans are stuffed up, that's not important, right? Because when you talk about murder rates in Jamaica, Oftentimes you hear our ministers of government say, well, it's not in the tourism sector. How many tourists have died since they have been going to Jamaica? And that is not the point, right? Because you should also be concerned. The government should also be concerned about the lives, should be even more concerned about the lives of its citizens. Because the citizens are the ones who are paying you through their taxes to represent them, right? But it seems to me that you're representing the tourists more than representing the citizens who pay you and who have sent you to that very important office to secure their lives and their property, right? To secure their lives and their properties. But the government has decided that they're not going to do that. That's not their responsibility. What they're there to do is to fill the pockets, to fill their pockets and the pockets of their bonus, and that is what they are ultimately going to do and not to secure the lives and properties of its citizens. Now, where are we going in terms of what republic are we trying to build when we can't even live in the safety of our homes? Because based on what the news said in the data, that was an home invasion, and that has been happening quite frequently in Jamaica. 
now that we're having a lot of home invasions where people are going to people's homes and they're just snuffing out their lives like it was something in, you know, in style to do, something in fashion, something in vogue to kill, right? And there are, of course, that you have government who are being rented guns, right? So they are able to rent guns and guns are being rented out to them and they're able to go and to commit such dastard acts, you know, um, you know, by snuffing out the lives of innocent people. And even if they're not innocent, even if the, the victims are not innocent, it is not the right of citizens to just go willfully, right, and indiscriminately and just kill, right, kill at their own back. You no, know, I think that we have to do better than how we are doing. We've got to get an understanding, a clear understanding about the root cause of this high homicide rate that we are seeing on the beautiful island of Jamaica. Thank you so much for joining. Hope that you like, share, and subscribe. Hope I'll be able to upload another video, and we'll see you in the next one. All the best. Bye-bye. Ciao.